Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be quickly comparing ClickFunnels 2.0 with ClickFunnels 1.0 or the ClickFunnels Classic as many people like to call it. Now I've done review videos and plenty of tutorials for both of these software tools like version 1.0 and 2.0. I will leave the uh, reviews for them deeper into the description in case you want to see more about how they work. What I've done here is I have a notepad and I have pretty much the reasons why you might want to use one over the other and I'm just going to get right on into it. First is going to be ClickFunnels 2.0. Keep in mind they also come with a free uh, trial if you want to test them out. I will leave a link down for them in the description. What the Some of the biggest reasons why you're going to want to use them overall is going to be their improvements. They certainly have improved in a lot of different uh, aspects of their software and that's a good thing. You can tell they've been listening to their previous customers. For example, I always thought the membership areas in ClickFunnels 1.0 were pretty weak and they certainly improved those significantly. Aside from many other improvements are going to include their smooth editor. They have some new assets in there which are great for helping you quickly create your landing pages. It's pretty easy to use. I've done many tutorials on that and pretty much the first time I ever used it, it didn't take that long to get used to. You know, you drag, you drop, you move this here, you change it around, you know, and then continue the process, of course. What's also improved is going to be their workflows. That's going to be a way of setting up your landing pages in a specific order so that you can create your sales funnel. It's changed a little bit compared to ClickFunnels 1.0, but in my opinion, it's changed for the better. Also, something that has improved is going to be their memberships or their courses. With that, they also have their own video hosting. Like I talked about previously, ClickFunnels 1.0 is pretty weak and needed a lot of improvements when it comes to their memberships. They've certainly done that here. Another cool thing is that ClickFunnels, even their basic plan is going to come along with email marketing. With that in mind, I do want to kind of compare the pricing plans. Although ClickFunnels has something weird going on. If you do get taken to the classic page and you go to click on their pricing, it takes you to the 2.0 page. So I'm not sure if the prices have completely changed, but I will show you what the prices were with ClickFunnels 1.0. This is 2.0 right here. So basic starts off at 127 per month. And the cool thing with it is that you get email marketing. If you wanted to utilize email marketing, which we're going to be called follow-up funnels in ClickFunnels 2.0, you had to get the platinum version, which was going to be 200 and, or excuse me, 297 per month. This is just a picture I found where if you pay annually, you get a discount, but normally basic starts at $97 and 297 for the platinum. So those are a lot of the reasons why you want to use ClickFunnels 2.0. They certainly have a lot of improvements overall, especially where a lot of people were talking about where they needed some work. And I think they've done that pretty successfully. If you want to test them out, once again, the free trial link will be down below to, so you can find out yourself and, of course, see how you like them. On the other hand, is going to be ClickFunnels, the 1.0 or ClickFunnels Classic. There are going to be a few reasons why you're going to want to use them, starting off that assuming they still have the same pricing plans, they're going to be a little bit less, uh, starting off at $97. And, of course, if you want to use Platinum, it's going to be $247. Going from there, they aren't going to have email marketing with that, but that's going to be like the pretty basic and standard package. Another big reason why you're going to want to use them is they have so many more templates. When I did my ClickFunnels 2.0 review, this was the biggest dislike about this, and I still almost can't believe it, is that when it comes to creating your funnels, they have so few templates. I really hope this is something that they're going to add more of, and I just wanted to show you here. For the opt-ins, you have 10, okay? You can't preview them, and for some odd reason, sometimes they don't load properly. That's also something I want to talk about when it comes to ClickFunnels 1.0. They've been out for so long, I feel like they've smoothed out a lot of the interface and how you use things. With ClickFunnels 2.0, I still feel like they have a little bit more work to do in terms of more features, you know, being ironed out and more things to be added to it. So that can be a reason why you might want to use ClickFunnels 1.0. It's more polished, especially just stating the fact it's been out for so much longer, okay? Getting back to the 2.0 templates, as you can see, there's only 10 here with the opt-in. With the thank you page, you got about nine here. This is what I mean. Sometimes they don't load all the way. You can't really view them. You can only choose them and you can't preview them. So that can sometimes be annoying. Sales, you have five here. So if you wanted to do a sales letter, there's only five templates that you can get started with. We've got order. We got webinar registration and challenge. So I really hope that's something that they edit in the future when it comes to that. But if you want a ton of templates, I'm pretty sure off the top of my head ClickFunnels 1.0 has around like a hundred just for opt-in templates. And that's awesome. They help you get up and running much quicker. So that's something to consider overall. 
And honestly, those were some of the biggest reasons why you might want to use ClickFunnels 1.0 is going to be for their templates. And of course, if you want something that's been around much longer, a little bit more polished just because it has been around longer, ClickFunnels 1.0 just might be for you. I will leave a link for it down below. They also come with a free trial. So regardless of which one you do want to try, you can at least find out for yourself. But overall, that's just my opinion when it comes to ClickFunnels 2.0 versus ClickFunnels 1.0. Something I did forget to mention, ClickFunnels 2.0 is also much bigger on websites and blogging. Yes, you could create a website with the previous version, but in the newer one, they have a much bigger emphasis on that, allowing you to create like a home page with a portal, many blog posts, much easier to do where you can connect them. So they have a much bigger emphasis on that if creating a website was going to be your thing. That about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I wanted to create this video and keep it as quick as possible just to kind of point out some of the reasons why you might want to use each of them. And like I talked about earlier, if you want to see each specific review of these softwares, those links will be down deeper into the description as well as your free trial links. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.